Hello everyone, welcome to Bonsai Expression. I'm Christoph, and you might notice, I've got my shades on because I can't see anything. The sun's cracking the flags, I've got my hair cut, I'm looking stylish. It's 18 degrees, it is absolutely sweltering, and it's like this for at least a week. Which means, we might be in summertime over in the UK. One week of summer is all it takes. Yes! Smile on my face and we can get some work done over here in the UK. It's about bloody time because we've had like non-stop rain, wind, cold. It's been awful. <laughs> so, last week we worked on an English privet. So I thought we'd keep the ball rolling and we work on a Chinese privet. And yes, this one's pretty much in exactly the same state. Although, it was originally bought as a, um, as a quote-unquote bonsai from a uh, garden centre, so it has a, a bit of a trunk and it's a uh, a lot thicker. It's in pretty much the same shape though. Let me show you. It is the original Chinese elm. Chinese elm? No it's not, it's the Chinese privet I bought and I spoke about in the other Chinese privet video we worked on. And I said the sulk. So this is the one I had and I said I worked on and I had to leave it for 12 months because it sulked. So look at the size of it, it's overgrown because I had to just let it grow in, because it sulked and did nothing, and I was scared if I worked on it again, it just died, because these just don't like being worked on, well, at least with me anyway. So, today's the day, I'm just going to cut it all back, and finally, put some movement into it, put some branch shape into it, and allow it to start being a bonsai. So, if I let you have a look in there, you can see the shape, it is a genuine S shape, Um not too keen on the S-shapes, but if they're done right and they're not just wired into your generic put down but if they're actually cut back and used the clip and grow method they're done right, they look nice so what I would like to do is as I say just cut this back and start the development process on it and we we'll, should get a nice little bonsai in the next couple of years with this one it's a very healthy after the repot so I repotted this um, last year, and yeah, time to get some working on it. So let's just get in there, nice quick video, turn it back down, take out all these unwanted branches because they're nice and long, and then it can start doing some more growth in the uh, in this lovely basking, lovely heat that we've got. Okay, like less less of the yapping and more of the snip snipping. To start with, I'll give you a nice close-up shot so you can have a look at what we're playing with. So, as you can see, just at the base here, we've got a big, thick, well, in comparison to the rest of the branches, thick branch just coming out here. So, if I spin you around, you can see. So, these ones are going to have to come off. I've got a couple more just down low here. They're all in the wrong places. And just here as well, these will be coming off. And just to the side here, I've got branches. But this one's a bit thick, so I'll probably end up losing this one and leaving this one to develop. Coming up, as you can see, I've got this back branch here, really thick, and we can use this, but we do need to trim some of this out. And then, as you can see, coming up into what will be eventually the main canopy up this section here, I need to thin this bit out. Recently had a chop just here. And then this section's growing out. I'm probably gonna, if I just move this out of the way, probably gonna chop this section off and use this as the new leader, uh, but bring it lower because everything else, if I zoom out, goes into a tree slash bush. And I'm gonna bring this as a leader. And I'll probably cut here as well so I can develop something out here and turn that into my crown, bringing everything else in and around here. If I just move it around to so this section here, I've got really thick branches well coming out. This is too thick to be part of the design up in the canopy, the apex of the tree. So that's going to have to be removed as well. Overall, the branch, the trunk structure is pretty decent. I mean, I could come in and use this and give a chop somewhere. Maybe use this as a... A new leader but I would like to use what I've got 
for the time being. So it just needs, as you can see how tall it is, it just needs coming in and giving it a good clearing out. So I think what we'll do is we'll just start here while we've, while we're handheld and I've got the snips, come in, take that one off. And there's one behind it as well. Might as well clear these ones out. And I've got one here as well I can do. That opens up the eyeline of the trunk straight away so you can see straight in. We've got a straggler. And I'll just turn this around and we'll clear that out as well. And again another straggly leaf. Just doing that, it opens the trunk up. Nice viewing. Oh. So the weight of this branch itself, just by moving it slightly, as you can see, has torn all of that. So I'm gonna have to come in and just nip. Let's just take the weight off that. So as you can see, if I just get you in really close, that's actually just the weight of it, just by moving it slightly, has come in and has ripped all that. So I'm just going to have to neaten that up. Luckily we weren't using this branch and we were using this one. So I'm going to have to come in, just neaten that up as much as I can. Hopefully I've not damaged it too much. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. I've got some brand new cut paste that I bought so I can use it on this in a second. Now I've got some, might be worth it, I might get my concave cutters and uh, try if I can neaten this up a little bit better in just a second. If I can't get any better on this one, as these are not doing too much, I can't, can't, can't quite get in. There we go. But I do think the cut paste is going to be needed on that. It is a decent wound. And then I've got a branch that comes out the back of it as well. So let's see if I can just come in and get rid of that one. There we go. Just a little snip. Just there. Tiny branch here. If I leave this to develop at all, it will swell. So I'm just going to take that one out. As you can see, the length of these branches are quite long, so I'm just going to come in and snip them back just so they're not in my way for now. That reduces the height. So what I think I will do is I'll just put you on the tripod and we will continue from there. I'm just going to put a bit of sealer on this wound. I'll just wet my fingers because I say it's a brand new pot. And having wet fingers so just help, well one, get this stuff out and two, help it prevent it from sticking to my fingers. So let's get this on there. I'm going to use extra to make sure it's over the actual wound itself and I'm going to put it over the extra bit so we cut over here as well. And then this one up here. There we go. So let's continue where we left off. So this one, 
plenty of growth on it. It's going to neaten this back back here that we chopped. Here you go, it's nice and neat now. Okay, so they're sealed. So this section over here, I'm going to completely remove. It's growing up and in the wrong direction. So if I take that out and neaten it up. So you might be wondering why I've left this growing upwards. Well, the idea is I'm going to wire it and I'm going to wire this down and around so this will give me my back branch now obviously it's not going to be that long in the future but what I'm going to do is wire it hold it into position once it's held in position I will remove the wire cut it back and allow the buds once it's cut back the buds will then pop back and that is where we will do uh, well how we will do our back branch so if I just give it a spin I'm just going to throw a little bit of wire on it I just get my snips. I'm just going to anchor it around the branch here and the back of the trunk. Come around. And over There we go, all I have to do is just reposition that branch. So now it comes up and then it goes around. There we go. So I'm not gonna use all of this branch. Obviously I'm just gonna help it, position it into a correct position. And then what we will do is we will cut it back. The buds will produce that bud, this branch, after we cut it back, we'll produce back budding. Then back buddings will then help us produce new branches and we'll branch off in the correct direction that we want. So for the time being, I will bring it back a little bit, just there to help the buds hopefully burst a little bit further back. This one, if you can see, which is this one just here, I am going to take that one out. I don't need it going in that direction. Because if I spin you around, I've got this branch here, and I've also got this branch here. I'm going to remove this one, because I could potentially use this one to grow in this direction. As this one grows here and fills this space, if I just move you down a little bit, this space will grow here. This one can potentially grow in this space, or I've got this one, which will probably be used and fill this space. So this one will be null and void. And then obviously I'm going to have to clean this up at a later date. So but for now, I'm just going to leave this one. And this one's going to come across, fill this gap. This will fill this gap. But that's how we sit. I'm just going to move into the apex. And we're going to work into that area now before anything else, just so I know what I'm working with. So this is the strong branch that comes out just here. I'm not going to use it because, well, I'll show you in a second. I'm going to get rid of it first of all, but just below, just next to it, I've got a branch that grows down. So I'm going to come in and cut it out. It's too strong for this. It's too strong for this area. Now, we've removed it from there. Let's just take that section out. I'm going to be using this branch, which is a lot smaller. If we continue to use this branch, it's in the apex region, and it's obviously just too dominant compared to everything else. The apex region is just, it needs smaller branching area. Everything is coming from one direction up in this region. So, what I would like to do, if I can just make sure you're in 
there we go we're just in the center of the screen it's all bunched out it's been a previous cut here a previous cut here and we've had a previous cut just here so we've had three previous cuts i'm going to lose all of that so if i just cut there i can show you there and there i'm going to lose this full top section just here and this is going to be the leader so the leader itself i'm just going to shorten and then i'm going to come in just here this will be our new leader so i've reduced the height down this will be our new leader and i've got a couple of so this one's dead here i've got a couple of new sprouts just on the side i've got this one here and this one here so i need to make a decision on which two i'm going to be which one out of the two i will use and to be honest i've got this one coming out and then this one here and then this one here so these two are two bar branches so i'm going to take that one on the inside and hmm got nothing on the inside I will take I'll take I'm gonna take this one out so I've got something at least coming across diagonally across the tree so there we go that's the new leader hopefully it'll push some buds backwards so I don't want it this tall I'd like to bring it down a little bit further but there we go shorten the tree bring everything closer in that's my apex region just need to clean this section up as well because it's a bit tight there we go so we've got the apex region just needs lowering i'll just clean this section out here that's the one we've just removed we've got branch here coming out branch here coming out and as i come around now I've got some branches just at the back, down low. This will come across. All usable branches, ready to go. I'll give you a full spin. So what, actually before I give you a full spin, I'm just going to shorten that. So there we go. So it's got it set, ready for the future. Just noticed I've got one down here as well. Tiny shoot, I'm not going to use. I'll just take it off. There we go, no longer a big bush. We've cut back, we've removed all that stupid long growth, and it now looks something like a tree. Well, a tree trunk with a bit of foliage. But that bit of foliage can now grow, and we can now develop it into somewhat of a tree, and we can get that branch structure ready to go. So, you can see the trunk now, it is quite decent size. And you can see the movement of the tree as well, which is always nice. That is exactly what we want in our bonsai. And as I say, we've got all this growth here. These will develop into our nice branches. And from that, we can uh, start developing our secondary and our tertiary branches. The apex here, this will now start developing. We'll grow this. Hopefully, we'll get some bat budding. And we're going to develop it, maybe shorten it a little bit and grow it properly. So, there we go. Give you a nice little spin. One thing I didn't mention is uh, the cuts that we did on the top. I did add a bit more cut paste as well did that off camera so don't worry about that i didn't just do it on the lower ones i did it all over the tree so if you like this one please do give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one cheers everybody